you know, um, one of my favorite wrestlers who couldn't wrestle was a crap. <laughs> who, you know, they say, was it a good professional wrestler? Was a uh, Outback Jack. And the wrestler, the superstar who did, who portray, portrayed Outback Jack was, um, I think, Peter. Peter, I can't pronounce his last name. E, I forget. I know it starts with E. Peter, if I had to guess, easily. Uh, anyway, he was a real life Australian or or, or Aussie, Mike. He was a real life Aussie, and he portrayed portrayed his wrestling Outback Jack in the World Wrestling Federation back in 1986, 1987. Now, really, what it was, they were trying to cash in on the. Out, you know the Crocodile Dundee movie franchise with Paul Hogan as um, you know Crocodile Dundee. If you ever seen those movies, but uh, Albert Jack, Albert Jack, I seen some of his matches on YouTube, and to me, man, they're all right. I mean, what can you do? You know, I would rather watch that wrestling than today's wrestling, if you know what I mean. But uh, it's too bad his his gimmick. I mean, his character or the superstar who was doing his character couldn't. Rest of that good. I was hoping he could have been the next um, Randy Savage. I'm talking about just a top guy you see on pay per view on the pay per views, like the next Bad News Brown, Randy Savage, Warrior, or if not Bruce Beefcake or Mr. Perfect, any of those guys on the top line. But I know I just like that character, that stereotypic Australian character. Uh, Oh yeah, and his uh, theme song, his music. Uh, it was that song by Rolf Harris, "Tommy Kangaroo Down," "Sport Tommy Kangaroo Down." You gotta hold me, Tommy Kangaroo Down. I have to get the now, Tommy Kangaroo Down. <laughs> they should have had a a better Australian scene for him. Some of that's more powerful than Tommy Kangaroo Down. Don't get me wrong, I like that song, but that doesn't work well with a. Well, uh, a character like Outback Jack. And I heard uh, him and Hillbilly Jim were supposed to have a tag team title reign, but nothing came of it. And I also heard um, he's half blind, half blind in one eye now, so. But could you imagine if that wrestler, Outback Jack, if he could, you know, if he could, could do well with, in the ring with other superstars? He could have been, um, I don't know about World Heavyweight Champion, maybe the Intercontinental Champion or Tag Team Champion like one or two times. I'm just guessing, you know. It's uh, one of those um, one of those things, that I just, things that just pops into my head when I think of good old wrestling back in the day in the World Wrestling Federation. Man, that character out that Jack. Like I said, they were just trying to cash in on the Crocodile Dummy franchise. I believe they made a small action figure for him. You know, one of those old WWF action figures from like the late 80s. He was only there for, for like two years, 86, 87. He was supposed to be their main attraction. And, you know, he just they kept wrestling jobbers and winning or losing against him. You know, oh yeah, before. Before I end this video, uh, his finisher was supposed to be the said the dumbest finisher ever. Two double clothesline, call it the boom, the boomerang. Get it? The boomerang. You know when you close the clothesline and the other back, double back clothesline. That's called the boomerang. But uh, yeah, but could you imagine if Outback Jack could have done well in the ring? He could have been a Probably not a big star like Savage Warrior or Hogan, but he could have been like Honky Top Man, Bad News Brown, Mr. Perfect, Ravishing Rick, Rick Rude, you know, like Jake the Snake, among those others. If only he could uh, could have fought or wrestled better, you know. This is just one of those things that just pops into my head because I was just looking at, looking at him up the other day and, uh, you know, he's still alive. He's still alive. I don't know if he lives in Australia, but or the United States or whatever. But he's still he's still one of my favorite wrestlers. That should have learned how to wrestle better. He could have been a 
maybe a three, four year superstar, at least be be at one WrestleMania, win or lose at one WrestleMania, you know. That's it. I'm going to end this video. This video was about a superstar that could have done it but didn't do it. Outback Jack. Anyway, that's it. Always please subscribe to my channel. You don't have to like me. You don't even have to respect me. Just subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. You know my videos aren't worth a shit. Please just subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's it. Have a good day.